Hi, hello, welcome and welcome back to yet another episode on your favorite and our favorite Little Slaw YouTube channel. So today in this video, we're going to see, I mean, uh, a, a most commonly asked question to me uh, that this is uh, a kind of a question that's been asked in the interview. So people, um, the interviewer asking uh, the performance testers to create a logic or they wanted to understand um, that there is a, a scenario where um, we have to generate a token a kind of a login a session or uh, keep or keep the session alive or whatever the session id thing uh, which has to keep the session alive um, for i mean like if they have to trigger a token or they have to trigger a session for every like 30 minutes or like one hour uh, between the test so the logic stays like um, the test should not stop but meanwhile, the login should happen. I mean, the session alive or the session should be kept alive, right? So that's what I have come up with this particular logic. If you can ask me, that is, this the only logic? No, there are n number of possible options we have, but this is one of the working logic which I have created, and this is through JMeter. So what I have created is um, I have a script which will uh, generate, uh, which I mean, like, which will generate a token and which will pass it to the um, to the original script where the session id value is required and this happens like for example in this scenario i have kept it like for 30 seconds so for every 30 seconds you can see um, the value gets changed say for example in the request you can very well see this just one example so here the token value is like 26 and after that after 30 seconds the token value changes to 105 so this is how uh, the um, I have, I mean, I have uh, fixed this scenario. So it's like for every 30 seconds. So I have kept it like for 30 seconds because for the demo purpose, you can even set it like for 30 minutes or like for one hour or whatever. So, but again, this is kind of an interview question. So you can use this logic. I mean, again, I will, what I'll do is I can even share this uh, part in the GitHub. So you can take it from there and even, even you can get demo it to your um, interviewer or whatever it is, or whoever it is, sorry. So to learn more, to know how did I crack this, to know step by step of how, how did I do this, please do watch the next video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our Little Sly YouTube channel. So until I see you all in our next video, the original video where I'm going to show you how did I do this or how did I crack this, um, please do watch the next video and don't forget to subscribe to our Little Sly YouTube channel. Until I see you all in my next video, uh, it's bye-bye from us and your favorite Little Sly YouTube channel. Take care and bye-bye.